I'm George. I'm Stephen. And today we're here for Hearts TV answering these questions. First up, handwriting is not the best to be fair. If you could eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Mum's roasty. Yeah? Mum's roasty, 100%. Yeah. Sunday. Yeah, Sunday roast is a joke. Missing it to be fair, so. Right. Start the phrase. <laughs> What's the last photo you took in your phone? Last photo? <laughs> Get it out, son. I don't know if I can show this to the camera though. <laughs> no, it's actually one of those, to be fair. Is it? Yeah, that one. I'll show the camera. I'll show the camera that one. There's my boy. Nice. What would you rather see 10 minutes into the future or 150 years into the future? 150 years. Yeah. Yeah, 100%, no? You agree <laughs> yeah, with that? That's a terrible question, lads. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad one, that. We'll bin that one. Oh, I know this. Oh, actually, I don't know. What's your go-to karaoke song? Go-to? Um, well, I sang Lewis Capaldi. Yeah, initiation was next level. Yeah, I sang that one when I joined, but I'd say I've done Robbie Williams' Angels more than any other song, so... Yeah, to be fair, your initiation was very good. What's your favourite thing about playing for Hearts? Ooh. Probably just like the aura of the club. Like, playing on the pitch, the, obviously the stadium's a big stadium, uh, the fans, massive fan base, so just the all-round feel of the club is, especially at the moment, it feels like since we've had this break, being here has been, been, been good. They're really good, so. It's a tight stadium as well. Yeah. Fans really get on top of you. Big Mac or quarter pounder? Oh, that depends what mood I'm in, to be fair. To be honest, I'd probably just get both. Yeah. But if I had to choose quarter pounder, yeah. <laughs> really, I thought you'd gone Big Mac then. Nah, because you, to be honest, I get a double quarter pounder, so. It's kind of a Big Mac and a. Bigger, bigger. It's a bigger, it's a bigger Mac, yeah. <laughs> What music artist do you listen to the most? Uh, J. Cole, probably. J. Cole and Drake are my two that are on the most, I'd probably say, in my, in my car. Are you, are you a good rapper? No, terrible. I knew what you were trying to get on them. You were trying to get me to rap them. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. If you weren't a footballer, what would you be? Um, I don't know, I've always been a bit of a geek. Um, I've always liked, yeah, I've always liked YouTube and Twitch and stuff, so I'd probably go into Twitch, but I um, don't know, I quite like music as well, so. But I'm not outgoing enough to give that a proper try, so. It would uh, it'd be, yeah, it'd be gaming, Twitch, all that kind of stuff. Who in the squad would you not like to be stranded on a desert island with? A uh, desert island with? Who, who would you not like to be with? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I think I know this is already. <laughs> I'm going to go Keo. Yeah, I knew yeah, that was uh, coming. Keo's my roommate. This morning he just let his alarm go off for about 30 minutes. Um, so yeah, I don't think I could do it stranded on an island with him. Yeah, no, that would be, be the worst. Yeah. He's going to hate me for that as well. No, I'd, I'd have picked Keo as well. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us an interesting fact about yourself. An interesting fact, I'd probably say for a couple of years from the age of like 12 to 15, I was like a BMXer. Oh, I remember you saying that. Yeah, I used, to, I used to BMX and I got some free gear to do BMXing sponsor. basically. Yeah, kind of a sponsor. Yeah, I didn't get paid, but um, it was pretty good. So um, yeah, BMX, I was a BMXer. There you go. Probably don't look like one, but would you rather be 11 foot tall or 11 inches tall? <laughs> 11 foot tall. <laughs> Which app do you use the most on your phone? Probably WhatsApp, because yeah. of all the group chats and yeah, stuff. there's a lot of group chats on there. No, actually, I'm lying. Candy Crush. Nah, you <laughs> by, a, by a country mile. Yeah, you bash Candy Crush. Yeah, if I'm like, if I get a spare half an hour, I'll just I'll head straight on there. I'm actually on a 37 win streak now as well. So, um, yeah, that means I've... Uh, your level's like ridiculous though, isn't it? Yeah, my levels are so hard, but basically every 10 levels, you get um, some gold rewards. Um, so that's like, if you get to the 10 levels, that's like a one, that's one win. And I'm currently on a 37 win streak um, against 10 other people, in, random people in the world, but yeah. Why? What was your favorite uh, subject in school? Now, this is gonna be weird, because I'm not actually good at it, but maths. 
Yeah. Like maths, like just the the group of people we had in maths was like top. Oh, so and when we got to like year ten, they started doing like A and B work. I was, I was like top set. And okay. <laughs> um, and they said to like there was like two or three of us that were never going to do that level. Like we was always going to get C, and like that was probably it. And they was like, oh, you can go into the other class if you want to. And we yeah. was just like, nah, we'll just chill in this one and just not do the A and B work. So, so the class clowns was in top set. Yeah. So it wasn't the maths that you, you <laughs> yeah, loved. Yeah, I just it was enjoyed that just class. You and your mates yeah. messing about. Yeah. Okay. What holiday destination would you love to go to? Um, probably where I want to go in the summer, Cancun. Yeah. Um, I've been before, and it was just two weeks of lying on a sunbed, eating steaks and. There was a barbecue section that I was just constantly at. Stinks of you, that Yeah, there was a swim up bar. Didn't have to move. You actually had a little bell thing that you pressed and the waiter would come over. I didn't feel good doing it, but it was there and I paid for it, so. You enjoyed it? Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was the uh, best two weeks of my life, so I'll be going back. What's your favorite movie and why? I'm going to add that onto the question because that's a bit bland, isn't it? It's a one word answer, that. I don't actually watch movies that much anymore. I'd probably say I'm more of a TV series guy, but film. Alright, oh, series then. What's your favourite series? My favourite series is Entourage, which I don't think that many people have watched. Like in football, I think loads of people have watched it. Yeah, but it's hard to access. I've never watched it because it's not on anything. Yeah, it's not on anything, but Entourage is like just a group of friends that go around. One's a movie star and it's just like their life and his Entourage. It was, that's the best one. Yeah, you relate to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a movie, movie star. star. No, but you're a star in your own oh, right, me. Come on, mate. It's you, is it? Yeah, yeah it's me. What's an embarrassing thing that's happened to you? A few things I probably can't share, to be honest. Um, the one that I can think of is when I was at Rochdale, for some reason, um, I called the manager, Keith. He, his, his name's Keith Hill, and I called him Keith. Yeah. <laughs> um, which you just don't do. He said, he said morning, Steve, you all right? I said, morning, Keith. <laughs> Yeah, I was actually doing all right, but then the next game I was dropped, so I think that probably had a, a bit of uh, something to play with it. So, yeah, don't call the manager by his first name, especially not Keith Hill. Tell us a joke. <laughs> oh, I've got absolutely zero jokes as well. Ah, come I, on. Wish, I wish you got that one. Just, yeah, I would have had a good one as well. Go on then, because I know you want to tell your no, joke. I don't joke. You tell your joke. <laughs> I actually don't have a joke. I promise you I don't. If I had one, mine's then, too I'd... mine's too long winded. Yeah, you must have a knock knock joke. I don't have any knock knock jokes. I don't. I don't think I've ever told a joke, like just a plain boring joke. What's your guilty pleasure? My guilty pleasure is probably I listen to a lot of Machine Gun Kelly, as you know. Yeah. And um, it's like punk punk pop is what yeah. it's called. Um, and he's a bit of a weirdo, but I love him for it. Yeah. I think he's class. Um, he loves yeah. his tunes to be I love his music, yeah. I've tried to get you into a matter, but because we, we car school in the morning. Well, Granny just drives. Me I drive. Yeah. I drive. Granny back. just drives. I'm and uh, yeah, I've tried to get him into it, but I'll get I'll get there one day. You'll listen to it, won't you? Yeah, well. What's your favourite place to go on holiday? This is simple actually, Portugal. That I've been like since I was probably like twelve years old with family and then since then, like, I've gone with my boys, my missus, like everything. So, Whereabouts? Just the Algarve, Villa Mora normally, Albufeira with the boys. But yeah, so probably Portugal. Describe the person sitting next to you in three words. Oh. Oh. <laughs> three words ain't enough for my mate Granny. <laughs> um, I would say caring, because honestly, he's, he's literally the group dad. <laughs> if we're ever doing anything, it's like you organise it. Yeah. You know, even like downstairs, we're all eating. He'll just come over with like a bowl of bread rolls. Like there you go, lads. Always offering for coffees and stuff. Um, I would say stylish. I actually thought when you asked us to do this, it was going to be like a, who's the most stylish and all this. And I thought, Granny's the most stylish. I've never seen him with a bad outfit on. <laughs> Um, whereas I, I just come in a night track suit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, night tracky track every day. Probably the one from the day before, to be honest. <laughs> well, I was on the floor. Yeah, well, was, yeah. Um, and then classy. I would say he's, he, especially with him growing his hair now, I'd say he's like the. the what did you say the other day? Summit, Summit Pillow in yeah. chain. Yeah, the Edinburgh Pearl or something. <laughs> something like that, yeah. What's your biggest pet peeve? <laughs> um, be careful. <laughs> Messiness. 
messiness like kills me. Like um, at home, like when little man has his toys everywhere, as soon as he goes to bed, like they have to get cleared up. Does my head in. Like the flat. Like, yeah, he does. I, I, I can I, vouch for him for I that. I cook and then I just clean straight away. So, yeah. it's, so it's done. Um, his, his flat looks like he's had a professional maid round. Like, <laughs> quite a contrast to mine, to be fair. Every it's time I've gone round, he's got his DJ deck there. Yeah, DJ deck. That's all set up perfectly. I think you've actually got all CD, to be honest. Yeah, so it is clean at the moment. Yeah. Like, proper clean. Yeah. Last one. Last one. <laughs> well, it's a good one to finish on, actually. Who's going to win the World Cup? Come on. These two are like it, but... Only one right answer. Yeah, that isn't it? Yeah. England. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. No, but in all seriousness, we've got, we've got arguably the best squad. We've had like the first game, Grealish, Rashford, Foden came off the bench. Like, who's bringing on that kind of talent yeah. really? Apart yeah. from maybe, maybe Brazil. Brazil. Yeah. France have got a good squad, but their B team got beat by Tunisia. Yeah. So, nah, I think we got a good chance. England, yeah. Sorry, Scottish lads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. I did just go to spud him and he left me hanging, so I spud him myself because I was going to finish it on that. <laughs> well, I'll have that on camera. No, no, we'll, I literally we'll, went that this way. No, no, we'll do it, we'll do it again. We'll, we'll do it faster. Yeah, we'll cut it out. Yeah, just, I'll yeah, finish on that. So, yeah, Granny, it's been a pleasure. Pleasure, mate. Thanks, guys.